Hey, Laney, yeah, it sounds like the vibes are good there in Des Moines. You love to see the Jayhawks pick up a W, and hopefully K-State can match that energy tomorrow here in, Green, in Greenboro. Today, one thing is very clear. Jerome Tang is feeling grateful as he gears up for his first NCAA tournament game as head coach. Coach Tang was out there today for open practice. He watched his team on the floor, and I couldn't help but notice he just cracked a smile here and there. Everything about his body language just said, He's just soaking in the moment right now, and when making an open statement in today's press conference, he was even fighting back some tears then. This one clearly means a lot to Jerome Tang, and when asked where he's grown the most individually in year one at Kansas State, he says he's learned to be slower to speak and quicker to listen. When you spend so many years waiting to become a head coach, you have all these ideas that you want to do and how you want to do it, um, but I'm blessed to have the best staff in America and uh, extremely intelligent men who have done a lot of winning in their life. And, you know, I hope uh, over the course of the year I became a better listener. Tang also thanked Athletic Director Gene Taylor and President Richard Linton for believing in him and giving him this job. He describes being here simply as special. Now the Wildcats don't tip off until 8:40 in Central Time. That's actually 9:40 here in North Carolina. If this thing goes to overtime, it might be Friday morning before that game ends, or Saturday morning, I should say. The game's Friday night. It could go into Saturday morning, but I'll be here to break it all down. And of course, we'll give you coverage of that game and all sorts of March Madness action throughout the whole weekend. Working for you live in Glen's in Glen in Greensboro. I'm Glenn Kinley. We'll be right back.